I'm Congressman Jim McGovern from the 3rd District of Massachusetts. In my district, I've seen firsthand the growth of industries that didn't exist 50 years ago. From cutting-edge biotechnology companies to computer software developers to high-tech biomechanical engineering firms and green tech corporations, we are seeing the emergence of a new kind of workplace that demands a new kind of worker. And that's only going to be more true over the next 50 years. This demand means we need to do all we can to get our students of today ready for the innovation economy of tomorrow. And that requires focusing on math and science through efforts like tax incentives for science, math, engineering, and technology teachers. But it also means placing an emphasis on access to technology for all our students. The benefits of technology in the classroom are clear. Technology improves student achievement in the foundational subjects like reading, writing, and mathematics. It supports critical thinking. Technology promotes equity and access uh, in education. And most importantly, technology prepares students for the, for the workforce. Throughout our history, uh, the, throughout the history of our education system, we have always placed an emphasis on students learning the technology skills of the day. I remember as a student taking shop classes to learn what were considered fundamentals. I believe we must not now pivot to place the same emphasis on students learning the fundamental technology skills of today. Simply, this means promoting access to technology and equipment to, do our, to, to our students at every grade level. First, we must encourage students to make basic tech skills a fundamental part of the curriculum. Second, on a local level, schools and tech-related companies need to partner with each other for basic training and access. I hear from business owners that they can't always find properly trained workers. That's why we need our high schools, community colleges, and universities to work with the tech industry to provide appropriate skills training for the tech and green tech industries. All of this leads to one simple thing. If we want to continue to be competitive on a global scale, we need to do all in our power to prepare students for the jobs of today and tomorrow.